cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. A St. Petersburg family was horrified to hear a loud noise, and when they ran outside, they found three men in their oak tree cutting it down. Yeah, those men worked for a company called Tree Ninjas Tree Service, and they had the wrong house. Unsatisfied with the way the company tried to fix its big mistake, then you did better call Bacon. And it turns out the man running this company, Ronnie Pownow, has made repeat Better Call Bacon appearances. When I heard about the mess this family was left with, it was time for me to do what I do. I was just like a disbelief. Like we came running outside, we just woke up. Sarah Martinez was stunned to see this, her beloved oak tree that she and her husband had just pruned being taken down. When we walked out and saw that the whole left side of the top of the tree was down. There were signs in her yard for Tree Ninja's tree service. Apparently, her neighbor hired the company to take down a tree. And the ninjas got the wrong house and the wrong tree. Sarah tells me the workers called their boss and Ronnie Pownow showed up, apologetic. You know, and we said that to him, okay, mistakes happen. This is a grave mistake, but, you know, we just need you to do the right thing and fix it. And he totally said he would the day of. And I believed him. The couple wanted their sod replaced, the stump ground down, roots removed, broken sprinkler heads replaced, you know, the yard put back together. And oh yeah, a replacement tree. He came back and did some work, but she still wasn't happy. And he said, I just don't have the equipment for this. You guys are asking for too much. So I said, you know, there's a huge root, which was there, you know, that's sticking out of the ground. And he told me, well, there, the root was there before I got here. And I said, well, yes, but it was hooked to a tree. If the name Ronnie Pow now sounds familiar, it should. What happened here? Why did you give him a worthless check? This isn't the first time a consumer called what me happened? to get answers from Ronnie. In 2016, consumers complained he sold motorcycles on consignment and didn't pay the owner or fork over titles. One customer turned in his Hummer as part of a consignment deal, and I found him driving it around for personal use with the wrong license plate. That same year, I found him renting out a foreclosure home to a family who then got kicked out by the bank. Back then, every time I found him, he ran away without answering questions. So now, five years later, it was time for another visit, this time to Tree Ninja's Tree Service. Hey, Ronnie. You got a second? He disappeared inside, so I called the number on the back of his truck. Ronnie, it's Shannon Bankham from Channel 8. Are you running away from me again? I'm just trying to talk to you. I said it's not him, even though it comes up in my phone as Ronnie Pano. I waited outside the business for him to change his mind. He never came back out, but he did call me hours later to say Tree Ninjas takes full responsibility for the mistake and will take care of the damage at Sarah's house, including new sod and a new tree. That's something Sarah thinks is only right. And I love a tree. Yes, I think that's a tree for a tree spare. Moments ago, Ronnie sent a statement saying that the company has ordered new sod and agreed to pay for soil prep and sod installation. The company also purchased a new 15-foot live oak tree, he says, which is supposed to be delivered to the house on Friday. And any time you start messing with an oak tree, a grand oak, any kind of oak tree, I mean, the cities tend to get involved, permits are involved. Uh, did St. Petersburg have anything to say about the removal of this tree? Well, I called the city, and a spokesman for the city tells me that the company did not go through the proper process to take down this tree or the neighbor's tree but they have decided that they're not going to issue a fine in this case because the fine would go to the homeowners, which the city agrees is not fair. Yeah. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Banker, the telephone number 1855 Banker, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.